torque of a force is measured in meter newton. Well, we already said the product of a vector of another vector at right angles to it is called the cross product of two vectors. The cross product of two vectors. Therefore, I can write the cross product of two vectors is a vector at right angles to both the vectors. In other words, if uh, the vector, let me see if I can show that to you one more time. Let's take a look at our old example one more time. I want to produce rotation about this axis and you can see I'm going to apply a force vertically down and now this is the torque arm. That means, well, this is not the torque arm. What is the torque arm? The torque arm is this distance. The distance that is perpendicular from the axis to the force. This is the perpendicular distance. Therefore, the torque will now be the force multiplied by R sine theta. This, if this is R, this distance will be R sine theta, where theta is the angle between the force and the R vector. Well, we have the, the torque as I keep rotating, the torque arm becomes smaller and smaller, right? And finally, when it comes to this position, the the angle theta is zero. There is no more any torque there. The torque of a force is a vector quantity. Now, if you look at this, this is the R vector and this is the force vector. And they are contained, the R vector and the force vector are in the XY plane. The torque will be at right angles to both these. So, the R vector, the F vector, they are both in the XY plane. Then the torque will be in the Z plane. The torque is either directed towards me or towards you. It depends on the direction of the force. So, if the force is downward, the torque will be directed towards you. If the force is upward, the torque will be directed towards me. You see? So, when I rotate it like this, the torque will be directed towards me. Whereas, when I rotate it in the opposite direction, the torque will be directed towards you. The direction of the torque will be perpendicular to both the direction of the force and the direction of the torque arm. So R times F sine theta, which is the torque produced by the force, is the cross product of vectors R and F. And we write it like this, tau equal to R cross F. And tau is a vector quantity, it has a direction. What is the direction of tau? The tau is directed at right angles to both the R vector and the F vector. All right, the direction of tau is given by the right hand rule. What is the right hand rule? It says, Okay, let's make the statement of the right hand rule. Keeping the thumb at right angles to four fingers. Now, these are the four fingers and the thumb is at right angles. You can see that. Keep the four fingers with the thumb at right angles. Now, wrap the four fingers from R to F. Wrap the four fingers from R to F. Now, <clears throat> that means if uh, this is the R vector and this 
is the force vector. Look at this. The R vector, this is the R vector, this is the force vector. What you need to do is now wrap your fingers, what you need, wrap the four fingers from R to F. Four fingers wrap from R to F, then the thumb will give you the direction. That means if you now rotate, if the rotation is like this, the torque will be directed towards me. If the rotation is the opposite direction, the torque will be directed towards you. So the direction of the torque is actually determined by the directions of the directions of the R vector and the F vector. Okay. Let's now look at a problem. The figure shows a crowbar used to remove a countertop. Now, very familiar example, is that right? This is the countertop and you use a crowbar, which is something like this, which has a bent end. I can insert the bent part under the counter and apply a force directed downward to produce a rotation. That means I am producing a torque. The workman applies a force of 15 Newton vertically down at a point 60 centimeter from the fulcrum. Actually the fulcrum is where the crowbar is, the end of the crowbar is resting on the countertop. That is the fulcrum. Fulcrum is the point about which the rotation takes place. Now, if you insert it there and move it, well, this is the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the point about which the rotation takes place. Find the torque produced by the force about the fulcrum. The, the crowbar makes an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. All right, let's understand this problem a little more. R equal to 0.6 meter. You understand that the length of the crowbar is the torque arm. So that R, the R vector, this is our R, and that is 0.6 meter. And F equal to 15 Newton is acting vertically down. Now, that means if you look at the R vector and the F vector, the torque arm will not be the whole of R here. The torque arm will be this distance. Now look at that. If I bring it all the way down here, it will be this distance, which will be R sine theta. What is the angle? The Angle R makes with F is 30 degrees. Now, tau equal to R cross F. And what is the magnitude of this cross product? The magnitude will be R times F sine theta. It will be R times F sine theta because the component of this force at right angles to the crowbar will be F sine theta. So it will be R times F sine theta that is 0 0.6 times 50 sine 30 that is 15 meter Newton. Okay, that is a very important concept here that the magnitude of the tau, the cross product, is R times F sine theta. Remember I told you it is F sine theta that is at right angles to R. So it is the component of this force at right angles to the, to the R vector that actually produces the torque. So torque is R times F sine theta that gives you 15 meter Newton. All right.